At today's Azimio la Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party's National Prayer Session held at Nairobi's Jivanji Garden, the outfit's leader Raila Odinga highlighted six prayer points, christened six Jivanji Garden prayers that formed the agenda of the eagerly awaited prayer event. Among the six, two key issues took center stage, including the rising cost of living and electoral reforms, with others including a review of the taxes regime, the suspension of the process of search for the new IBC commissioners, and opening of the IBC servers for scrutiny. You trample the poor, stealing their grain through taxes and unfair, uh, and, and unfair treatment. Therefore, Though you build beautiful stone houses, you will never live in them. Though you plant lush vineyards, you will never drink wine from them. You need Amos 5.11. Three, in line with our quest for electoral justice and social justice, you have three significant pronouncements to make. First, the cost of living. We have been talking about the rising costs of basic commodities like unga, electricity, diesel, petrol, paraffin, sugar, milk, among others for far too long. Fifteen religious leaders from different faiths led the prayer service including bishops and sheikhs. The religious leaders prayed for the six as well as gave sermons on the same. Wakati mwingine hatukubaliki kwa mambo ambayo inatendeka kisiasa na kuna watu wawili ambao hawako wanakubalika katika kitabu cha Amos saba utaona mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa Amos alienda akaongea mambo makubwa sana kwa viongozi Uwabariki wa Kenya wote utupe afya njema na usalama Utupe me we especially repent for every election flaws that have taken place in the past. We repent for every flaws and every injustice that have been done for the sake of the poor of Kenya in the name of Jesus. During the meeting, Odinga gave the ruling Kenya Kwanza administration a 14 days ultimatum to lower the cost of living and review the punitive taxes that it says have been imposed on Kenyans and a raft of further demands, failure to which the coalition will lead a mass action in all parts of the country. Electoral deceit must end. Servers must be opened and audited and... Uh, Servers must be opened and audited under auspices of a repeatable firm or organization failure to which we shall lead the people to restore their authority and voice. Odinga was accompanied by other leaders including co-principals Kalonzo Msioka and Martha Karua and Embattled Jubilee Party Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni, DAPK Suji Nwamalwa, not forgetting the 2022 presidential hopeful Professor Jojo Jakoya. Ujumbe kwa serikali ya kimababu serikali badia Illegitimate government Hatuombi tunatoa sauti kama wananchi wa Kenya We the people tunasema ifanyike Ispofanyika tutaifanya sisi wenyewe Na tunasema we are responsible leaders We are going to do it and we will do it Peacefully. Najua wanataka kupanda wahalifu kati ya wafuasi wetu Divyo wananchi wa ogope Sisi si wahalifu This rally is the 11th Ini rally ya kumi na moja Na tumekua completely peaceful Tutaendelea kuwa peaceful Lakini ushukani kikatiba Iko kwa mwananchi mkenya the final court is the court of public opinion. Itafanyika wananchi lazima wapate haki yao. Kutoka hapa kwa sababu wale wengine walikuwa nakitarajia ukisikia azimio tunakutana kutoka hapa ni kupora maduka ya wananchi watangukia patupo tutatoka hapa kwa heshima. Wangapi wanasema tutatoka hapa kwa heshima yetu? As Mio says, it will continue with nationwide rallies in the coming days to persuade the government to lower the cost of living.
the next meeting is scheduled for this weekend in Kakamega County. Samson Jura for Ebro News.